Another closely watched race in the 757 is in Chesapeake. That's where five seats on city council are up for grabs. 13 people, including three incumbents, are vying for a position. At a forum tonight, 12 of the candidates shared their platforms. Angelique Arentock picks up our team coverage. Candidates for Chesapeake City Council touched on a wide range of topics, including public safety, the local economy, and their commitment to public service. I have guiding values such as service-driven leadership, being transparent, meaning what I say and saying what I mean. With my experience of working with the city, I've seen firsthand the positive impact of bringing businesses to Chesapeake to relieve the tax burden on our citizens. This year, I was the council member to propose and vote for a four and a half cent decrease in real estate taxes. The transparency, we don't only want to do it within the city council, I want to accomplish that with the citizens as well. And I have a proven record as a servant leader. I am a man of faith. I may not know all the answers, but I will listen and I will learn. That I am someone who will show up and I will stand up for you, even when I have to stand alone. I have to always look and go and make a connection to see exactly what the people want, what the budget is saying. It's important now more than ever that we fund and provide the resources to our public safety so they can do the jobs that they were trained to do and that's keeping us safe. Bring to the forefront new vision, economic prosperity, and sound infrastructure. I've worked to find ways for everyone to grow and prosper and to keep Chesapeake on track as one of Virginia's safest places to live. Uh, I've served this city for 50 years and I've always tried to listen, tried to work hard. We gotta have at least one of the best compensation packages for our first responders. Businesses won't come to Chesapeake if it's not safe. Candidate Karen Moultrie did not attend the forum Thursday night. For 13 News Now, I'm Angelique Aaron Talk. 13 News Now previously reported candidate Amanda Newens faces allegations of elder abuse after a family member of hers filed a lawsuit. A lawyer for Newens called it baseless in a statement last month. Newens did not want to comment tonight following tonight's forum. We emailed her lawyer and her campaign requesting a comment.